Metro on Marathon. You're watching Hot Glow, baby girl. I love you so much. I can get you anything you need. Never forget that about me, Hot Glow. <laughs> You don't have to do more than step outside these days to realize that it's getting hotter. A lot hotter. Excuse me, can I just get a sip of that? Just one sip, asshole? But what, if anything, can be done to address it? One strategy is safeguarding natural carbon sequestration. It's something that our good friends the trees and soil are already doing by taking in and storing carbon dioxide. And where we humans might just see natural beauty, climate change sees a good guy with a knife, or a good guy with a few knives. Ironically, the capitalists who want to sell new technology to capture carbon don't seem that interested in protecting these spaces, despite the fact that they're significantly better and cheaper at sequestering carbon. It's almost like they believe nothing at all. <laughs> And then there are different capitalists that some, not us, have called dicks, clowns, or even dick clowns who want to encroach on these essential spaces like Ontario's Greenbelt and develop them for commercial gain. Here's someone else I haven't technically called a dick clown. Doug Ford has broken his promise to preserve Ontario's Greenbelt by opening it up to real estate developers who accidentally attended his daughter's wedding. Now, when I say Greenbelt, I know your mind instantly jumps to the level you quit karate at, or a leprechaun, which is wrong to think because leprechauns wear black belts. It's everything else they wear that's green. See, the belt is black. You're wrong. According to Google, the green belt I'm talking about is a land use zone designation used to retain large areas of undeveloped wild or agricultural land neighboring or surrounding urban areas. Parts of the Ontario green belt are also subject to a land claim by the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, who were not consulted on the land removals and would like to see them reversed. Not only did the Ford government break their promise, but an Auditor General's report found that 92% of the land that was ultimately removed from the Greenbelt was requested to be removed by the developers when they had dinner with the Chief of Staff of Ford's Housing Minister. That puts Ford squarely on the bottom of a dom-sub relationship with the housing developers. And it's led some commentators, not us, to question whether Doug is anything more than a scumbag con artist. Hypocrisy. Okay, so this is a developing story and there have been some developments. First, the chief of staff to the housing minister resigned and then the housing minister resigned, after which the buck mysteriously stopped. This is continued fallout from yet another report, this time from the integrity commissioner who found that someone who goes by the name Mr. X was doing unregistered lobbying to get land removed from the Greenbelt. And it turns out that Mr. X is a guy named John Mutton who goes by the nickname the Muttonator. And he is, and this is real, a bodybuilder slash psilocybin enthusiast slash former mayor of Clarington. What? Now the Muttonator has a company called Municipal Solutions whose CFO is this man, Phoenix Kiss who I cannot stress enough is real. And this is a real photo of him that you could find on the Municipal Solutions website until about a week ago when it was taken down for some reason. What hasn't changed though, is that land from the Greenbelt is still being sold off to developers that are financially doming Premier Ford. Okay, that's it. I love you so much. Regardless, if protected spaces like Ontario's Greenbelt are crucial for carbon sequestration, which I said at the beginning was good, then I knew that I had to go speak to one of these so-called developers and make sure I give them a taste of the hot glow. Right now, we're outside the offices of Linda Cash Grab, one of the developers who's profiting off of the desecration of the Greenbelt. Little does she know, camera justice is about to come calling. Oh, there she is. Excuse me. Excuse me, Miss Cash Grab. Yes? Hi, I'm Miguel Rivas. You're on Hot Glow. Oh, hi, Miguel. Um, I, I know who you are. I'm a huge fan. You are? Yes, I love journalism. Oh, well, well then prove it and come back to our studio for a combative interview. You know what? I would actually love to talk to you all about the much needed housing stock we're adding to this province. Do you want to come in right now? Come in. Well, um, I can't because we have this backdrop at our studio and it was so expensive and we have to use it in every episode to justify it. I completely understand. You know what? Um, what's your week looking like? Yeah, it's pretty open. How's Wednesday at two? That works. Perfect. I'll, okay. put, I'll put you in. Yeah, I've got you in right here. Uh, you're in. All yep. right. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll see you soon. 
Okay. Um, have a good day. Have fun at work. Oh, thank you. You're going to go home now? Um, yeah, I'm going to go home. Okay. Well, talk soon. So that's Linda. Baby girl, just scuttlebug around town. Everybody talking this and that about the green belt. I don't want you to worry about that, baby girl. You got better things to think about. Premier Ford is a man with needs, and right now his needs are just a little bit of green belt, understand? Not a problem for you. Don't worry about it. I'm taking care of you and I can get you anything you need. Test me. Test me, come on, test me. Vote forward. <laughs>